Now, Alfie, now. Sorry, Alf. <laughs> now. Alfie goes, can you give me 10 seconds? Let, just let me know before the song runs out. And I'll switch the cameras on. I'm like, yeah, no problem. Totally forgot. <laughs> uh, that is our record of the week. That is Sam Fender and that sound. Do you like that? Yes. All right. I'm just on air to say, yes, I do like that very much. Okay, the sound's off. Right, we are live on Facebook and we are live on YouTube, Alf. I think so, yeah. I think so. Go to our page, the Chris Moore Show on Radio X Facebook page. Let's bring in Mr. Gary Lightbody from the band Snow Patrol. Light up, light up. Oh, here he is. Look at this. Oh, God. Do you ever shave? Uh, yeah, sometimes. You're a scruffy get. Look at you, just look like you rolled out of bed. Second, you're calling me a scruffy get. Look at, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I look, you, you haven't shaved. Well, no, I haven't. How are you? All right. Good, Good to see, see you. you. Do you know what, though? I'm one of them. I could clean shave and, you know, with a razor first thing in the morning, and by lunchtime, I've got a stubble. Well, that's 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 not the, I'm not ma- that manly. I'm have you afraid. ever grown up? Have, have you ever had a full beard? Yes. And yes. do you like it? No, it just took a really, really long time. To oh, stop really? Being itchy, and um, yeah, I get Tom Simpson, who used to be in Snow Patrol, um, uh, uh, used to say I'd have, have five aside, so I have five hairs on one side. <laughs> <laughs> so it took a long time to get through that sort of difficult patch. <laughs> How are you? Are you good? Very good, thank you. How are you? I'm really good. I'm really good. It's lovely to see you because last time we spoke to you, we were on FaceTime. Yeah. But we had some fun. We had a laugh. We did. Where do you live now? Do you have one I home? moved back to, to Bangor, my hometown. You did? Yeah. From where? From London? Uh, yeah, I, I was in London for a bit, and then I was in LA for a bit, and then mm. I, I moved uh, I moved back home. Why? Uh, I just my uh, I just want to be close to the family. family. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Um, how long were you in LA for? Um, off and on for about six years. I would go back and forward. Did you like it? Yeah, I was living in Santa Monica, which I loved. Nice. Is that near West Hollywood? I don't know LA. Is that too, not too coast. far away from right? Uh, There's a really Hollywood. good Mexican restaurant in oh, West Hollywood <laughs> if you're ever in that area, just off La Cienega. Oh, That's, right. Okay. What's it called? Can't remember. This is the problem. Oh, right. can't okay. remember. There are quite a few Mexican restaurants yeah. in LA. They're right. Yeah. 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 But it's lovely. Great tacos, Gary. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I'll just go, I'll go to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> just do a taco it. challenge to yourself. Banger to LA is the. the I, I wouldn't say there are many similarities between those two places. <laughs> not, yeah. not, not really. Not weather wise, anyway. No, well, certainly not weather wise. Um, now, the album came out uh, in May earlier this year. Yeah. And before that, there was a lot of nothing. There was a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. There was, and me and Dominic were talking about this this morning. Yeah. And we we are, I think we're both equally fascinated totally. about people and what they do. So, at the moment, you're ramping up for the tour. Hmm. Um. But before you went right, let's get another album mm. from because what, what was the gap? Six years. Seven years between albums, six wow. years between tour. What do you do? <laughs> well, that's I was going to LA to work on a lot of film and TV uh, soundtracks, right? Um, and uh, working with other bands and artists, right? Uh, working on their albums and trying and mostly failing to write the Snow Patrol record, right? <laughs> um, yeah, there was a lot of writer's block in my in in in, in our own music. I I didn't know what to write about. And do you get do you get worried, nervous? Does it do you start to panic a little bit? Do you think, yeah. oh, it's been two years since we've put an album out? If I don't do this soon, mm. maybe there'll be nothing to go back to. Do you ever think that? Yeah, Henry Rollins, who uh, the very first band I ever saw um, was the first gig I went to was in the Ulster Hall in Belfast in 1991. It was Red Hot Chili Peppers supported by Rollins Band. So Henry Rollins were was the the first artist I saw on stage, and he said so. He's, he looms large in the legend of my life. Mm. Um, so he said that you get a finite amount of songs. He was asked why he doesn't write any more songs. He says I've had my songs. And at some point, you just run out. And I thought, oh, oh no, <laughs> oh, <laughs> holy hell, yeah. I've run out. So that's what I, I was kind of thinking. Well, if Henry Rollins said it, must be, must be true. Well, but that, yeah. then I started to, I started just find my way back to it again, which is, uh, which I'm. And were you, about. and what, did were you writing um, movie themes or whatnot? Did, did you end up? Yeah, doing- um, I did quite a few full scores, full soundtracks, and um, a lot of sort of one-off songs for films and. Um, uh, writing with, wrote with, you know, various sort of 
pop stars and things like that. Did you meet Harold Faltermeyer, who wrote the Axel F song from Beverly Hills Cop? I didn't meet him, no. Oh. No, no. He's a genius, isn't he? Yeah. He did Top Gun as well, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> My favourite film. Have you met John Williams? No, he's I've done. Not. He's done loads. He's you, done you very well get, for himself. You should yeah, yeah, with yeah. him. Yeah. Alan Silvestri, have you ever? No, oh. no. You could list Hans them all. Zimmer. You could list them all. I haven't met them. But <laughs> there is a club. There's like an executive club of uh, of uh, movie songwriters, and and I am definitely not in it. Oh, bless you. So which songs have you written for movies? Um, a lot of independent films. Yeah. A film um, called My Brothers was an Irish film. Uh, a film called An Open Secret. I uh, wrote the score for that. Um, wrote uh, song, the sort of the title track for um, Gifted, Mark Webb, who did Spider-Man, um, his, wow. his movie Gifted, had Chris Evans in it. Um, do you know, like, forgive me if this is a really dumb sounding question, but do you know how, did you know how to do that before you did it? No. Right. No, I, and I, I was so um, naive when I went to LA the first time, I thought, well, I'll just use the Snow Patrol name yeah. to g get some meetings with uh, executives at yeah. film companies. And I did. And I met five uh, different film executives uh, that worked in the music departments. And I went in and spoke to them. And they all said, yes, we'll keep you in mind for our next project. And never got a single phone call. Oh, again. Well, it's a, that is not the way to do it. The way to do it is you just, uh, well, I mean, the way that happened with me was I just sort of met people randomly. And, right. And, 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 uh, because oh, you're you, a director. Oh, I'll do your movie. Because you never have a bad meeting in L.A. Uh, yeah, I got yeah, told totally this years good, yeah. ago. How do you mean? Oh, really? So you never have a bad meeting. You okay. never go in. You never hear the word no. Okay. You go in. Every meeting is amazing. So I had a meeting. Mm. I'll tell you. I had a meeting with uh, the people that looked after Ryan Seacrest, right? Right. And <clears throat> it was purely by chance. I, did, I met this guy. Mm. And, uh, he knew a friend of a friend. And I ended up joining them at the end of their dinner. Had a couple of drinks. Right. And he's like, how long are you in, how long are you in town for? And I'm like, I'm here for another couple of weeks. We should, we sh you should come in. We should talk. You're funny. We should, we should get you in. And then when I had this meeting, they're talking about, we've, we've got to get him to meet Bob at Fox. He's got, he's got to meet <laughs> Sharon at Comedy Central. We've got, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, oh my God. I'm, oh my, this is so exciting. And then the meeting finished and I walked out going, what? That was amazing. <laughs> and heard nothing. nothing. Really? Like literally oh. never heard from them Why ever again. Why do they bother again. doing all that then? It's just the way it's done it's there, done I guess. I went in. I went into one of them uh, a meeting, and the uh, the executive had there was a coffee table between mm -hmm. me and him, and he had all the Snow Patrol albums fanned out in front of him. <laughs> they also had the cellophane still on them. <laughs> I was like, oh god, it's a bad sign. Oh. So, uh, so what? Who write? Who writes the the songs in Snow Patrol? What was the writing process? Is it you? Um, yeah, they'll ge they'll generally start with me, and then the, uh, myself and uh, Jack Knife Lee, our producer, will get together and sort of um, sort of uh, flesh it out. The, yeah, flesh it out a bit, um, and the rest of the guys uh, will obviously be involved. You know, everybody writes, so everybody's involved at certain stages. But the f the initial stage would be me with a guitar and a melody. You know, hmm. something with some gibberish lyrics on it for a while. And what do you play? So you play guitar. What else do you play? I don't play. I don't play hardly anything. Right, I barely okay. play guitar. So then, how do you? Okay, so you, you you've written some great songs. Mm. So, so now you're writing basically. I wasn't um, of agreement. That was um, no, of, no, no, no. Uh, but, but you have <laughs> just, just in case. No, just in case it. you thought, oh, he's been in LA. No, he's no, come back. He's no, got a big no, no, head. no, no, no. <laughs> don't don't do that. Like, you, you lived in England for a little bit. Don't become English <laughs> where you just become. Oh, I'm not very. English. No, it's, very, it's uh, Irish have a two. Don't That's worry. true. Uh, <laughs> so you go okay, right? So you could come up with a tune uh, for a, a movie, like, like a soundtrack. You could come up with a theme for something, but then what? How do you start by going okay? Maybe a bit of French horn would be good there. Do you write music? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't write music. Uh, it's no. I mean, our, our career. I mean, we 20, next year will be twenty five years um, wow. since I started the band, oh, wow. and uh, our career has been uh, entirely by accident. You know, every, every single part of it. Um, I, it's you know, it's it's all spontaneous. It's all sort of from shooting from the hip. You know, I I, I don't uh, know any other way to do it. Uh, I pick the guitar up and I put my hand. Uh, in various shapes, and those shapes turn into songs. It's not, I don't have any theory, music theory, or right. music uh, sort of... Can't read or write music. Can't read or write music, no. I did. But, I could when I was 10, but I don't know why I can't now when I'm 42. But you should But you should be proud of that. And, I'm, and I know this will sound uh, as if I'm being silly, but you should be proud, because a lot of people would go, 
oh, I can I can write lyrics or I can you know I can come up with a melody, but I wouldn't know I wouldn't be able to come up with some beautiful orchestration. Mm. I wouldn't know where to start. I would therefore they just back away from it. You have gone. Don't know how to do any of that, but uh, I'd like to do it. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, well, Which is, that's I'm, huge. That's that. Yeah, well, I mean, I, there's, I think there's probably a lot of people in rock, rock music, or indie music, or um, guitar music. Let's say that probably have the same approach to it. You know, right. that it's just just gung ho rather than um, sitting down writing it out beforehand. You know, mm. that's very yeah. that'd be very rare. Because Paul McCartney can't read music, right? And you think he would? Because they're kind of some of their stuff is really elaborate and so, and he got it all from musicals, apparently. You just go and watch loads of musicals and work out how chords fit together and all that sort of stuff. It's amazing. I guess if it works, <clears throat> if you get to the end result, it doesn't matter how you get there. No. So you wrote most of the singles, most of the Snow Patrol big hit singles, would you say? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I certainly st- certainly was, they were, they were started by me for sure. So you take more money. Uh, oh. We share the publishing. Um, it's it's really yeah yeah. The, everybody gets that? everybody gets a share of the publishing for sure. So you split it all equally? Not all equally, but no. everyone okay. gets a share. Everyone, yeah. uh, everyone gets a share. Yeah, I'd see, see. Well, I remember like in Coldplay, I think it's yeah. like 40, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Yeah. 40 to yeah. Chris, and you go well because Chris is coming up with with it all, and then they put it all to, they, they yeah. all work together. But you would go well that would, that is fair. Mm. I think it's the lyrics for me that take the. I mean, the lyrics. One song in particular, "Life on Earth," was the first song on the album. The new mm. album took me five years to write the lyrics. Wow, you know, that's that. That's a long. But that's long. on you. That's just you being rubbish. That's too that's long. Me, that is me. Five being, years, that is Gary. Me being rubbish, you could that's build, for sure. They're building a put, hotel in Leicester Square in less than five years. I have years. no doubt that there are people <laughs> far more competent at building hotels than I am. But in terms of uh, in terms of writing a song, it just happens when it happens. You know, you, you say know, that you've never tried to build a hotel. Maybe you could get it up in three. I, I tell you what, it would. Uh, yeah, but I could get it up in three years, maybe. Yeah. But it would come down in about three minutes. Yeah, so. You say that. <laughs> So um, when you look at, uh, I looked at this just to see if this joke would work, by mm. the way. So if you look in Wikipedia, look at Snow Patrol. So uh, Gary Lightbody is vocals and guitar, mm-hmm. right? Johnny McDade, piano, guitar, backing vocals. So like at the, shoved him at the back, right? <laughs> well, not, not good enough to be at the front. He but is at the front sometimes. Has he made enough money they can buy and sell all of you several times over? I yes, one hundred percent. He has uh, written some massive songs with uh, with uh, co-written with uh, Ed Sheeran, sort of obviously most uh, famously, but yeah. with lots of different people, uh, Pink and Alicia Keys and all sorts. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's an extraordinary songwriter, extraordinary man as well. He he works harder than anybody that I that I know. Um, he's always working. Yeah, oh, we we watched that. We were talking about the songwriter, the the Ed Sheeran documentary. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, uh, yeah. It's good, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it was really right, yeah, isn't it? Ed Murray Cummings made it. It's a friend of ours. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. It's it's really good. It's a, and it's a lovely. It does feel like a, a proper fly on the wall. It does feel like you're just part of that little group hanging out with them. But yeah. you know, I'm I'm dying to get into the nitty gritty of it when they're standing around or just thinking about songs and da 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 da. Because uh, I think Galway Girl was it wasn't Galway Girl was it Derry Girl or something it's, like that? Yes, yeah, they couldn't. They said they couldn't do Galway Girl because it was there yeah. was another song somewhere called Galway Girl. So like I want to be in that circle just so I can go. How about Galway Girl? Galway Girl, that's great. And I go, boom, that's 20%. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, it's holiday yeah. for Christmas, me. Woohoo! <laughs> that's, that's the way to do it. Just yeah. get everyone to throw it all in. Right. Anyway, back to Snow Patrol. Uh, forget Ed Sheeran. He's a flash in the pan as well, you know. And I know. And, yes, of course. You know. Um, but we just it, finished touring with him actually it, in the States. Beca- it, and, that's it, what, it, and that's because of his success. If you go back through Ed Sheeran almost to day one, it's all, you keep appearing. You always appear with Ed. If it wasn't for you, he'd be nowhere. Yeah. Yes, no, true. exactly. And that's I, that's. I, I'm sure that is true. Has he shown or that appreciation? Not true. No, it's true. <laughs> it's it's true. I tell you what, I do love, uh, and it's probably a good few years ago now. I think he did an iTunes thing, and you went on and and sang with him. Yes, uh, sang cheers cars together. I love that. That's, that's, I listen to that song. It comes up on my iPhone a lot. I think it's a really lovely. I, I like you two singing together. Yeah, I love singing with Ed, and we, you know we've written some songs together, and it's, he's the, the the most fun kind of co-writing experience is, is with Ed because his his mind is just like he's he can come up with ten songs in about twenty minutes. But is that is that easy? 
if you're working with somebody, because writing, so if you're coming up with an idea for a song or a lyric and your brain is taking you down one road and if you're writing with somebody else and their brain's going down a slightly different road, mm. like I can't imagine you and Ed ever having a stand-up ra- row about lyrics. No. No. Okay, good. Uh, uh, no, no, we've never, <laughs> no, we've never, I think we've ever rowed, but, um, but uh, he... Have you ever seen him throw a punch? No, I've never even seen him raise his voice. No. Really? No, no. He's just he's the same. Uh, we, you know, we I've known him for nearly ten years, nine anyway. Mm. Um, and he's the same person that he was then. Yeah. You know what I mean, what a, what a git. It's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He really is <laughs> that talented, that, <laughs> that successful, nice. and that nice. Yeah. And and you know how successful he is. He's probably better at being nice, genuinely, than successful. Yeah. That's how annoying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, right, so you're going back on tour. Yes, yes. I mean, we have been on tour, but we're we're, we're excited to get um, back on tour in the UK and Ireland because we're we're playing arenas here and we get to put our own show in it. Yeah, we get to, to put our own uh, lighting show. We've designed our well, our lighting designer has designed Davy Sherwin, by the way, who's been with us for 20 years. Look we call at him that. Job for Life. <laughs> um, he is uh, whether he likes it or not. Um, and uh, he has designed the most extraordinary show that we've ever we've ever had. Like, I'm really excited about putting it on. Um, and a tour a support for the tour. Well, uh, Codaline um, is coming with us. Uh, Foy Vance is coming with us. Uh, uh, Ro uh, from from uh, Derry, London Derry, in Northern Ireland is coming with us. And uh, Sam Fenders is going to be with us. And Ryan McMullen. Oh, look at that. So we got uh, we got a whole lot of amazing artists coming with us. On Sam Fender's our record of the week this week. Yeah. strangely enough, he is an extraordinary songwriter. Just an extra for, uh, I mean, not even for the age that he is, but not to put any kind of dampener on it at all. He is the. I think he's the probably the best um, young rock songwriter at the moment. Easily. Wow. Marvelous. And coming from you, that's praise indeed. Yeah. Well, he is. Uh, I can't wait to. I can't wait to see him uh, live playing with us. And when you go, I'm going to have to wrap this up sadly in a minute. But when you go on tour, how different is it now touring from maybe ten, twelve years ago? I'm basically going to go down that when the gig's finished. Do you right. all now go to bed, have an early night, strepsils, watching The Voice? Is there <laughs> any rock and roll shenanigans yes. going on on the tour? No, um, well, I, 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 I quit drinking a couple of years ago now, so that I, I, I do have sort of reasonably early nights right. um, these days. But everyone else keeps the fire burning. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, if I go and see Snow Patrol in, in I don't know, Leeds in January, mm-hmm. then in the bar afterwards, pretty much everyone but you. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll see you for breakfast. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. Lovely seeing you. Sorry, we got it. It's so short. But uh, if you haven't got uh, the album from uh, Snow Patrol, how dare you? It came out in May, for God's sake. Um, and go and get tickets. Are tickets still available? Can people still see you? Yeah, the uh, second London show has some tickets left, and Manchester and Leeds have a few tickets left. So, yeah. It is going to be Newcastle, two nights in Belfast, which is great. And then, uh, look at that. you the, the, the rest of the band still are drinking. Two nights off before playing Dublin. <laughs> then, <laughs> then, about five weeks before the next gig, <laughs> which I love. Birmingham, London, Bournemouth, Leeds, Manchester Arena, Glasgow, and then uh, another London gig. So you're doing the O2 and Wembley Arena. Mm. Great, you can't wait that um go and get tickets to see snow patrol because that'll be a great night there you're a great band live yeah, thank you and thank it's you. always a good sing song you can have a proper good sing along at the top of your voice and watch the crowd badly singing <laughs> line up <laughs> line up just for the blokes if you yeah. could just bring it down a couple of yeah, kids that it's would it's be great high, Gary. it's far too high <laughs> as if you I'm not getting there. I'm just not getting there. It's just a bloke. Try it. Try it one night. Just get the blokes to sing that bit and you'll be like, oh, I really am a great singer. <laughs> uh, love it to see you. Give our love to the rest of the band. Thank you, will do. Everyone go and see Snow Patrol. We'll be right back. This is Radio X. The Chris Moyle Show. Sponsored by Dave. You know, that TV. 